G'day, today we are going back into the uh, single city challenge, a little bit step back from where we were, so this is sort of where I had a save point, where I still had a couple of countries still to go, but since I last filmed actually we've got a few more countries that have been added too, so a few more islands around, you can see Malta's up there, and we've got, uh, so, I don't know how to pronounce that one, uh, so Tome and Principe, Principe. Uh, and then I think maybe one out the more this way, so a few more around that it's taken us from a 92% at this state to 88%. Um, but what I've also done is I'm trying a suggestion that was what we want is we want smaller planes going from everywhere except for the places that are a problem. This will mean that there's less squeeze on Khartoum because there's not that many um, planes sort of shifting to it. So currently with the money that I had, I've shifted everything back to Khartoum again with um, the smaller planes with the exception of those places that are currently connected to Stuttgart still. So um, I think it's just Mexico City, Sao Paulo, uh, Shanghai, and Tokyo. Now with the money that I had I couldn't afford to move most of Europe so as I gain money uh, we'll connect them up and then there are about five cities in Central America. Um, four, four cities in Central America that we haven't got to yet. So hopefully we make some quick money, um, but we will see how we go. So firstly enjoy Khartoum as just a black spiral. And you can see that we're starting off with some cities that are going to struggle a little bit. But the thing is that the cost of upgrading these cities is going to just be a couple of hundred. Um, something like Mexico City, we probably could upgrade a little bit more. Um, but we are going to have to pay to upgrade a lot of cities that are going to yank around and declare us. And in fact, let's, um, because we've got so much money and because that next upgrade isn't that much, can I just upgrade cities? Uh, so let's just quickly upgrade a whole bunch of these that are struggling a little bit. Most guys that are 200, you can see a lot of these have already been bumped 3,000. A lot of those. I don't know, it's been a while since I played this, so you can tell since there's new countries involved. Um, cool, alright, so that hopefully will at least address those first ones. And you can see we've got red planes. Obviously the not connected cities are going to be unhappy too. Um... Put it red planes. These, I assume then based on what I just saw, all the European cities are going to be a much larger size than what the um, smaller ones are. This looks like a spider's web at the moment with baby spiders just sort of falling about. Um, so once we see Stuttgart has completely wound down and it's cleared out all of its um, stuff, we'll then get rid of it. So somewhere like Mumbai, you can see now. I don't think I've upgraded Mumbai's planes. Let me just find Mumbai again. There you are. So let's give him five planes, and then we'll give him jets. Guadalajara, needs a bit of attention. I mean, based on everyone else, let's get these guys up to 32,000. You can see we're already at 9 million. So a few of these guys, let's just get them a little bit further upgraded. Because one of the things I hate is being swung around on the map by cities that need attention. Um, okay, so let's start using our 10 million. All of these new cities that I don't remember. Okay, so let's get... It's definitely created a lot more variety in the uh, the color of planes that are heading about. You can see with these new ones, they're not going to spread out the the planes just yet. It's sort of going to be once they make their first destination. Whereas everyone else, I think, just sort of figured it out because they were paused when they were created. These guys weren't. The speed of making money here is outrageous. See, we've already got more than enough money to create those ones there. 
uh, and then we are going to start working back on Europe. It's much nicer to work on Europe than it was on the south because when it comes to this, it doesn't swing, or well, you can try and make it avoid swinging the map around anywhere near as much. So you can just sort of zoom out far enough. So we'll just go five, one, uh, well, they're level twos, not level ones here. Something just about the speed that the planes now move that just seems so more unsettling. Spider like, I guess. One of the trickier things where it decides, no, 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 you want that other city. One thing I don't know, I don't recall if I mentioned or not. Early in the um, the videos coming out, a lot of comments were that one problem I'd made with um, Stutt choosing Stuttgart as my my central city was that it, I wasn't going to see any jets because it meant that I was going to have no connections between a um, capital city and another capital city, whereas Khartoum is the capital city uh, down here. So will we see that change? Okay, now this is great because we can start to see these are the cities that still need we we need to get uh, sorted out to clean this up a bit. So Mexico City still causing us a problem here. Welcome back, Guatemala. So it's closed when I sort of did the big transition here. And New York as well. So let's get them. Upgraded. Osaka. Beijing. I think Beijing. No, Beijing needs an upgrade. So this is about to get real deadly because of how fast. Um. Wuhan. Basically, as we see, like, these cities are going to be problems until we get those jets hitting here, and then we can see what the next jet coming in is. So... Um, places like Mexico City are going to cause us grief. It's already... Dhaka. I mean, I feel like these ones we need to just need to clean them out. So let's upgrade them entirely. I hate when it gets to that point where it's just sort of zoomed all the way in and then it'll fling you around. All right, are we getting on top of these ones? Is this helping at all? Harder. Alright, where was Jakarta? There. The five second thing, even on this le level, is very, um, frantic. Why did you suddenly fling me over there? Alright, let's get this guy connected. And we also need to address um, all of those places that we haven't yet got connected. One weird thing, when if I click back on the city and go to routes and click on the network, it's not until the dots make it all the way to um, central point does it actually sort of register. I otherwise need to... Um, yeah, I otherwise need to sort of click on the middle of, of, on the dots. If I click on the dots, then the route will be there. But if I click on the city and then say the route before the dots have made it to the city, uh, it does not work. So obviously the, the bigger problem here is it's now, it's gonna be that the other cities are taking much longer to get their passengers out. But what we've got to try and do is find this happy medium between the speed of um, other cities um, delivering passengers versus delivering too many that we're going to cause problems for places like Tokyo. So 
now that we've got that sorted, what we can do is we can sell Stuttgart's routes. Um, or is it still got... I can see Tokyo still send, but it's lots. So we'll um, leave Tokyo. Sao Paulo still got its... Just leave those two. Get rid of that one. I guess Stuttgart can have an honorary jet planes to get it to... I think it's just after all, I guess, corporate head office. Uh, so they get that luxury. I realize I'm, I need to get these done now while I can afford them with it paused because otherwise all these um, European cities are going to start to lose their minds as well. But this could also create more problems for um, uh, Khartoum, which is already sitting at a near capped out 30,000. So this could be over before it's begun. Mexico City is alarmingly a problem. Very quickly here still. And I get it. Give me the chance I would go back to Mexico City in a heartbeat. And it's definitely a dangerous experience too that I can only react to the top five cities um, as they start to have issues. Like I can't see anyone below that <clears throat> that that's sort of going like, oh, okay, well we need to we need to get more planes to London or wherever they'll be. But there is all of these cities. Uh, well, no, I was gonna say anyone who had anything to deliver to deliver to any of these European cities just wouldn't have delivered them at all. Um, so they, oh, goodness, one of my least favorite things in this game is trying to create, uh, well, no, I think my least favorite thing in this game in its entirety is being flung around. This game loves to fling the camera around at you. And, um, especially so when you're trying to have to bulk build, um, airline, uh, like travel routes. Zooming out like this, most ideal. It's just when you get cities that are too close to each other that you can't drag at this size scale. This. And you have to drag down because the box wants to appear below the city. You gotta go back up and click on the city again, but then that will find the line, but then it will also like push you back down so that the card will appear in the middle of the line. Oh my goodness. <laughs> then you gotta remember which one you are dealing with. Soon we can get to a uh, fast forwarding here, though. I just feel like it's going to take a little while to <clears throat> find our um, our footing. The new look network. God, we don't have one anyway. Each of these are, yeah, like half a million, no, get rid of that, a half million dollar lines. This one's so much stuff you can't even drag up. Some of these I should just make conclusions with that like St. Petersburg or Moscow are probably going to be issues for me, but I don't know. react and 
I mean, this is, like I said, this is one of the more annoying things, constantly having to be flung around when I'm building routes, but then compare that to when you've got five seconds to address something and it's just flinging you around to get your attention. I think that's even worse. Okay. Alright, I went. Getting there. Slowly. It almost feels like this is all going to be not for nothing because Cartoon is just going to lose its mind so fast. Let's um have a break from adding more cities and let's just see how Cartoon goes for a quick moment here. Bonus Aries. Did I already... Shut up. Can I just tell anyone who is under 32,000 to just get to 32,000? Does mean that there's going to be some cities that I just won't hear from for a while that possibly aren't even connected to the network. Four hundred and fifty-one cities, though, a hearty amount of cities. Did I miss anything? I can see. I'm going to assume that. All these ones down are going to be higher level because they're lower percentage of occupied. So it's more likely going to be these ones at the top. Oh, that's terrifying. Okay. One of series. What did I have? I got route you. Darker we did. I mean, a lot of these, obviously, it's going to take... Oh, sorry, darker. We'll upgrade you again. Yeah, I know you're unhappy, Gung Jo. Let's um get you to jets. Just a second level jets. Cairo. That was Gung Jo stole Cairo's spot, but at least we saw Cairo. I know Kyra is someone that we can help out. Firstly, you've only got three planes. We'll go to those planes for you because you're pretty close. You're still right on the edge here. Jakarta, did I go all the way? Yeah. Alright, so it's... Once we can... I mean... But also, yeah, you can see that, say, Jakarta is sending back equally full planes. Um, did I max you out? I should really just max these out and concede that... I mean, you can see that there are these big red planes that are heading out. Uh, we've got, like, say, green jets coming in, and then when those jets are leaving, they're, um, they're leaving red. But I can't go anywhere other than here, as this constantly is freaking out. Alright, so Tehran is... I heard you. I heard you. Let's pause. Tehran, which is located in uh, Tehran. You gotta help me out. Thank you. Okay. There we are up there. So we want to say Tehran can go to level six. Was there somewhere else that was new? Paris. Paris, we're gonna take you to level six. Um, we're just going to make some quick assumptions, say at London, for example, we'll bring you in to the level 5 plane. You know, that's where you're going to hit us with this. Um, let's just add a few more, because we've had a Big panic break there of just Artoom losing its mind. I wonder if there's a way in like the setting the stats or anything that I can look to see which cities are really having the um the 
panic attack. Like, uh, I don't know, there actually is a thing that will tell me the busiest routes, I think. If I go to here... Well, I can see that there's one city there, so let's get him upgraded. Um, cities. Well, you mystery man, you can go to sixes, since you're uh, holding so many people back there. And... I hate trying to drag at this point too. So much going on. Now worst case if we this sort of collapses and say someone like Tokyo um Who do I just do? This guy? No. Doesn't matter. Here's what we'll do. We'll just keep moving. Um, is we might have to look at making some cities like um, like what we I'd potentially do is upgrade all planes again bail on this attempt uh, not attempt but on the um, size of the planes and then give cities like Tokyo and Mexico City um, relay legs so we would have a second city that is slightly closer to Mexico that um, all Mexican flights have to fly through, and that's where we're going to make our, um, our connections. Almost there. Said, I just find this so annoying to get constantly dragged down. Thank you, exactly. We'll just figure out a spot that the, um, the map can sit. Like that little info window can sit while I've got the map open. Equally happy with that option. I think that's everyone connected. So if we go here and we go cities um, and then routes, we can swing all the way to the bottom of this. Just find all these routes that we, we missed there. Fortunately, there's no nice smooth way to just have it sit on the bottom as opposed to on the top. So debatable whether this is easier or harder than um click it on the lines but we're almost there So, here we go. Istanbul's a new one. Alright, I heard you. No. I also don't like that, I also, a complaint that I've had for a while is that Spacebar, now that they've actually introduced pause into this game, which they didn't always have, that I think that pausing, like Spacebar should pause the game, not like cycle you between it's fast and slow. Joe's still... Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Uh, 
Hangzhou. You're going to need to go all out because you are not recovering. Um, Mexico City. Okay. Okay. And no, Taipei is. Oh, goodness. At least I know where Taipei is, so we could start with that. It is, it is still just a thousand people that that's capping to, so one of, like two planes getting there would clean this up completely. That's where this is sort of tricky. Mexico City is just still climbing though, so again it keeps pause. Just keep an eye on Mexico City. If that goes to... Like, I guess all of these are climbing, aren't they? Someone like Seoul, we haven't seen change its number for a while, so we want to just see it actually hit like someone come and pick up some, some passengers from Seoul. Where are they? Come on. Okay, so let's pause. So I don't think that this is working. Um I think that firstly we'll re we'll connect Fort Lauderdale. If you have a level five plane, and we are going to give him fives, upgrade them, and what we're going to do is we are going to go to the stats, and we're going to say thirty-seven million. Let's go upgrade all of them. Do I have how much money have I got? Yes. All planes upgraded. Again. So we're jumping straight back to this. Now what I'm going to do first is because Mexico City is just a problem. We're going to pick a city that's on this side of... Um, actually, we're also going to say goodbye to Stuttgart's setup. Um, I feel like Stuttgart is currently taking like Tokyo planes still. Like, it's the route that people take to get to Tokyo, is you fly to Stuttgart and then fly out. So we're going to say goodbye to this route to Stuttgart. And we're probably going to have to introduce a, a connecting flight for Tokyo as well. So, Mexico City, we're going to say goodbye to that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to say that Mexico City now flies via this place, Mauritania. I don't feel like they would have an overly high density population. Demand people going there. They will now. And same way, we are going to pick... Um, let's go to the middle of Myanmar. Mandalay in Myanmar. Although we really want the longest route to be the last one. Maybe let's go Pakistan. So we are going to go from there. Tokyo. We're going to say goodbye to Tokyo's express flight. And we're going to put that in. So we've got two places that are going to need those sort of connecting routes. Now hopefully what this then shows us is we drop in populations. Mexico City, I am watching you. Come on, let's see that number go down. I don't even click on it anymore. See, why don't? Why is it still going up? Like, why? Pause the game. Pause the game. Talk to me, this guy. Talk to me, this route. All right, let's give you a fifth plane at least. Knowingly, I assume that fifth plane's going to leave from here. Okay, Mexico City's gone down once. And we're gonna pause because Seoul is not recovering either. So let's give Seoul a connector city. But they're up there. So let's go Jodhpur. 
say no, that's the route we want to keep console go routes we'll get rid of that one but we will go all of them i do realize too that there are plenty of lines that now don't have five planes on them um, that i can't really do too much about but we'll address them as they they come up as issues I'm trying to watch, say, these two cities. Mexico City. Okay, Mexico City just dropped once, but is it still gaining ground? Like, I fully don't understand how... I guess it's, it's more everyone is, is struggling than just... The, the, but the main question is, is Mexico City dropping in, like, requirement? Is Moscow going up? We need to... Alright, we just saw the hit to Moscow. We got a... Oh, just hit Sao Paulo. Well, I feel like we're now seeing Mexico City go down. Slowly. But again, it's like someone else needs to get it addressed here. Okay, so let's pause. Sao Paulo is going to need an assist, I'd say. Sao Paulo is all the way down here. So we are going to go to... Um... This guy. Break flight into Sao Paulo. We'll say goodbye to that one. Take this route to... Way in. That now what I've also got to do is make sure that this guy has his fully stacked planes. Actually, that's a good question for this Mexico one too. He does. You can see that he's starting to get a bit more packed with Mexico quests. It's okay. I just want to click on it. London's not going away. Shanghai's on the climb, so let's get the two of them sorted out. So, go this guy to London. Click on London, get rid of its Khartoum route. And Ghazi, have that. And we've got Shanghai was the other one. We've also got a city in here. Shanghai is there, so we'll get rid of that network, and we will run from somewhere in India, this guy. What we also want to do is make sure that that city that Sangli has max planes on it. Okay, so that <clears throat> Mexico City is still on the climb, but London and Shanghai we should hopefully see drop away. Um, where is Bogota? Colombia. Surprised that you are a pain point for us. Now, at the moment, this guy isn't coping just direct to Mexico. Like I don't understand how. Um, how many people want to go to Mexico at the moment? That's a problem for them. Tokyo Connect flights uh, struggling too, which is crazy. It means that every other city in the world is pretty okay with what's going on. And then we've got two cities more than anyone else. <clears throat> I mean, Mexico City is insane because Mexico City can't even cope in either Khartoum or in the, its connecting city. There's 8,000 passengers currently desperate to get there. Apollo is also pretty bad. So let's, um, let's find out new countries. I 
believe that was. Well, I think that the next thing we want to do is just sort of open up more of the countries that we've got. We've got to figure out... Um, I, I, but we're now down... We're actually looking really good there. We've dropped below 20,000. Mexico City is the only one that's sort of hovering. But again, so is that guy. So maybe it's going to calm down as we open a few more countries. But that'll be the state of play at the end of this one. Uh, next time, I reckon I want to bring in more of the new countries that we've got as we are uh, you try and solve this terrifying mess. But what we want to do and our goal no longer is can we finish it we proved that last episode what we want to do is can we get to the end of the time limit and what's our score going to look like at that point that's what we're after uh, any questions or comments feel free to check them below and until next time catch you later see ya